Hello everyone, Rorius here, back with Crash Bandicoot, the first one from the Insane Trilogy. Um, we just beat Koala Kong in the previous episode from the second island, Wampa Island, that's right, I always forget the second island's name. And now we're on uh, Cortex Island and entering some of the hardest levels of the game. <laughs> Luckily there's only a few levels to go for the uh, pinstripe boss, so this should be a shorter episode than the previous one. <laughs> the previous one was quite long, uh, so let's get going. Okay. So yeah, this this level is one of those levels. I love this level, but it's also quite a hard level. <laughs> so I would get why people might have difficulties with this level. I don't think it requires any gems to get the box gem. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I get all the boxes whether I'm going for a box gem or not. <laughs> Okay, I know there's a secret in one of these levels where you fall down between the two. Ah, oh, go for it. Screw it. Yes, <laughs> I was right. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I remembered correctly. Oh, nope, nope. Back up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's do that again. Not down there. <laughs> I like these uh, ice cold and steaming hot pipes. I love the music of this level. The. I mean, I like the original, but this is good too. <laughs> but it's the I think I don't even know if the song version has it in it but the um this is like uh what are they what, the only song other song that I've heard that has a similar style to it is called Limehouse Blues and it's that that noise that noise um there's in uh Little Big Planet if you play Little Big Planet there's a I think it's in the second yeah the second game in the um the Factory of Tomorrow levels. There's music that plays in them called uh, Limehouse Blues. Um, I'll probably put the name of the song here. <laughs> and um, I just, I, for whatever reason, I just love that style of music. And uh, this is the first game that ever had that kind of style in it that I'd ever heard. Okay. Oh god. I always forget you can spin those guys, those cameras. Ah, these. These were weird traps in the first game. I'm glad- it has a little wind-up time, which I'm glad about. You can tell when it's about to shoot steam. It's really good. Because it used to be so, like, you'd just get caught off guard by those a lot, because they were very sudden. They're just sort of like, were completely calm and then psh! <laughs> okay. Three, four, five. Two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna do it like this. Staircase. Three, four, five. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. I'm sure you didn't click on this video to watch me count, but <laughs> it helps. It helps me. <laughs> I love the music of this level just so much. <laughs> I used to replay these levels, these like uh, machine shop levels or whatever whatever these are. <laughs> I never really fully understood what this was, like a factory level. Um, I used to replay these levels all the time because I loved them so much. Although because of the visual style change actually, it's almost unrecognizable by comparison. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know that was gonna about to happen. <laughs> Just patiently wait on here. Was there anything else up there? Nope. That's a what a bad time to get a mask. I'm just gonna check. Because I don't want to miss anything. 
<laughs> that was a bad time to get a triple moss. <laughs> yeah, this level is almost unrecognizable uh, to the original. The pipes are the, probably visually the most similar thing. Ooh. <laughs> Felt the heat of that one. <laughs> yeah. Secondary bonus. These bonus uh, ones are actually placed quite well because they're they're at the like checkpoint places or where you'd hope there was a checkpoint. Where you'd want there to be a checkpoint. Oh god. <laughs> I don't remember ah oh, I don't remember this bonus level. <laughs> I'm sure it was in there, but I just don't remember it. I think because usually I didn't get the all three of the heads, I think I used to always miss that first one that's in the secret. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank god this doesn't use lives. Come on. Let's do this. Focus. <laughs> okay. Slow down. <laughs> just take a minute. <laughs> my, my shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> that was that was fun. That was great. Ah, oh, it's so cool being able to do them, you know, repeat them a couple times, because you used to not see those bonuses hardly at all, because you would you would fail them immediately, and then you would you wouldn't be able to you know see them again until you redid the level. Um. Okay, yeah, this is one of those moments that's like a trickster moment. As in, they try and trick you into slamming you. Is this one? Nope. This might not be the one that I'm thinking. Oh god. <laughs> Actually, these these bounce pads used to be much, much more visceral and uh, mechanical sounding. <laughs> Yay, I got the gem! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> the gems are huge. How does he fit it inside him? <laughs> okay. I think actually this the boss distance between uh Kuala Kong and, and Pinstripe. Are actually not that much different but it's just that the distance you travel is so much shorter you're only just over this teeny little hump <laughs> hmm actually I just wondered I wonder if that key that I got if that was for the that previous level it was a key I got in the previous episode um, and that might have been for a previous level so I could go back and play with uh, Coco <clears throat> no secrets no oh Cortex power I just remembered what level this is no, it's not Cortex Power, it's, um... What's the level called again? Oh, it is Cortex Power, okay. I, th I was thinking, I'm mistaking... I'm mixing up Cortex Power and, um... Another level that I always... That's, uh, that's notoriously difficult. Um... Oh, I need the... No, no, I get the... No, I need the blue gem for this one. So, okay, I shouldn't... So I shouldn't worry about getting the box gem. Oh, God. First checkpoint died right before it. <laughs> Naturally, the electricity looks looks a lot nicer in this, in this version. I don't remember which is easier, this way or the other way. Or do I have to go? I have to go both ways, don't I? Little little sneak peek towards um. No, okay, no, this is just an alternative way. Um, little sneak peek towards, yeah, so you need the blue gem to get that part, unfortunately. Um, sneak peek towards the way Pinstripe works, that guy. Yeah, I thought that might be a, a life. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just go on with the level. Oh, I got on Cloud 99. I got 99 lives. 
Yay! Okay. Yeah, so if you're, if you're not going for the box gym, this level's really not that bad. Um, mainly, because it's only difficult because of all the branching paths. There's only a couple of levels that are like that in the later games. They did, they went away from the branching paths after this, and maybe a couple in the couple in the next couple of games. Yeah, see, the, uh, the end of the level's already here. See, it's, a sh it's not a very long level if you're just trying to finish the level. I don't know why I bothered to spin those. Yeah, I'm gonna miss like all the boxes. <laughs> Oh god, he'd fallen over by that point. I didn't even notice he like fell down and he was still being pummeled. <laughs> Poor Crash. Okay, generator room. Now this one, this one gives you the orange gem. But I don't remember if it requires gem in itself. What is generator room again? This, is this the one I was thinking of? This might have been the one that I was thinking of. Okay, it's the one I was thinking of. Uh, this does not require... <laughs> they made the Cortex look way less terrifying in the first game. This level is kind of genuinely scary because of the Cortex on the TVs. The Cortexes on the TVs. Don't know why I wait sometimes like that. I'm always paranoid that I'm going to miss something. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think this level requires... Um... I'm always like suspicious almost that the um the TNT isn't gonna blow up properly. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this level requires anything special. I th once again, I think though the only reason this level was hard in the original was that you had to do it in one life. Quickly, this whole platform falls. There we go. It's about to. There we go. Terrifying. <laughs> yeah. I keep getting lives. Not realizing, uh, forgetting that I already have full life. And so, I'm just—it's just going to waste <gasps> those jumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you go back to those. I think. <laughs> I'm like, suddenly like, oh god, is that a secret down there? Am I missing a secret? I was right there. God damn it. I reacted too quickly. There we go. Oh, he's so close. <laughs> to Torna, that is. Okay. I know there's that area down there. I just don't remember if we go back to it or not. Normally, or if you have to find a secret to go back. No, I think... I think it is part of the main level. It's just, yeah, you come back at the, sort of at this angle. Yeah. So you come back at sort of a weird uh, diagonal path. But you can see the you can see this path from above and so it looks like a secret. <laughs> it just makes you paranoid. Well, it makes me paranoid anyway. Whew. I don't know why. I take kind of some sort of some sort of weird pleasure, some sort of weird pleasure in watching. Oh my god! <laughs> Naturally, I'm trying to talk about how I sadistically take pleasure from watching people try and play this game and fail, <laughs> and then I immediately die. 
like a lot of because a lot of the YouTuber people I watch never played this back in the day. So, whew, that's always a tough one to do. Um, so, yeah, so the ones who never played it, I'm like, I, I like watching them play it and suffer. <laughs> Like, there's plenty, of, it's fine if you're, it's understandable, it's fully understandable if you're, you know, you're yet too young to have played the original. But, um, for a lot of people, um, a lot of the YouTubers I watch are my age or older. Like, a lot of them are my brother's age, actually. And so, they have no excuse. <laughs> what? I got 52 or 52. When I got that green gem, did I die at all? Do you have to do it without dying? I'm just gonna check. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I just looked up why this is the case. I was not fully aware that the uh, colored gems require you not to die to get them. Well, shit. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'm gonna redo this level. I won't make you watch it, but I'll redo the level and I'll start it back when I get this damn gem. <laughs> but you died. Whether you want to believe me or not, I just did that in the first try that I came back. <laughs> what I'll probably do is I'll make a sped up version of it so you can see it. If you want to go slow-mo, you can see it again. But, um, yeah, that was first try. <laughs> well, second try, you know, you know what I mean. First try, redoing it. <laughs> Orange gem, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, and the next gem has the blue gem in it, so another... No death run on, this is, I keep saying this about a whole lot of levels, but this next level is of, often considered one of the hardest levels to get the gem for, so, <laughs> fun! <laughs> we'll see what it's like in this game. So yeah, the toxic waste level. I know, I managed to get the, I managed to get Slippery Climb's red gem, um, before I managed to get toxic waste's blue gem, so that's, <laughs> that's, Take, make of that what you will. Okay, this one's just a rolling one. I'm gonna get him right away. Because I remember those guys used to... Whether it's, like, I think it was a combination of the music and the look on those guys' faces. Those guys used to scare me. I would have... I didn't have nightmares, but I would have borderline nightmares from those guys. The barrel rolling guys. Probably risking it. Yeah, thank god for the Torna bonus level on this level. Oh, that's the worst one. Oh, not the worst, but that's a really bad one. The, um, trying to get the, go, climbing uphill, you know, going up a, up a ramp, while also trying to jump over a barrel. Okay, we're about to start getting the bouncing barrels, which are pretty frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, it's, this level is one of those levels, it's not even that hard to get the... The boxes aren't the hard part, it's the not dying. But I'm doing pretty well so far, I think. But naturally, because I've said that, I will die immediately. 
<laughs> oh god, here's the bouncing barrels. I can never judge how far away I need to be with those. <laughs> nope. Okay, thank god I have uh, the mask. Thank god I had it to mask. <laughs> Okay, I just gave up my mask. <sighs> I have no mask now. I have no mask for the end of the rest of the level. <laughs> Phew. That was a close one. But I got everything, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Lives don't matter anymore. I've got 99 of them. Ah! Why did it spawn me there? Oh, that's a that's a safe safe spot. <gasps> Shaking. I got it first try. <laughs> okay. Come at me, slippery climb, although now that I've said that. It will totally come at me. Slippery Climb will be the death of me. <laughs> but I think that's it. I think we're up to Pinstripe now. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll quickly, before we do Pinstripe... Yeah, Pinstripe Potteroo. Before we do Pinstripe... Oh, I could go back and do Cortex Power, but I think I'll leave that for the next episode. Um, I'm gonna go back and do... Well, oh, so, yeah, okay, so, the, yeah, the key we got is we managed to get for, um, is it this key? Yeah, Sunset Vista's key. Vista. Sunset Vista, whatever. Um, unlocks whole hog. Another hog level. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do this. I forgot about this level. <laughs> I would have put it in the previous episode, but, um, I was running, well, you know, I was running on a bit. The episode's getting pretty long. <laughs> okay, let's... Let's do this. Oh. <laughs> die on the very first thing you can die on. I was kind of hoping that this game would allow you to have more than 99 lives. Just because I always accumulate so many lives. Okay, this was the level... Oh. Whew. Ah, I knew I was going to do that. This is the level that I was thinking of when I said that the hog levels were going to drive me nuts. Thank god, this level you don't have to do without dying. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Other than... Ah! <laughs> yeah, this one you've got to do the long jump. Oh, what? I freaking hit the X. Again. Shall we? Okay, that's it. This is just getting ridiculous now. Yep. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I got it that time, and then I immediately screwed it up. Come on, there we go. And now, don't miss any of these. Ooh. Checkpoint, please. Oh, what? Oh my god. I somehow hit the front of the drum. Oh, what the... Okay, those are those are actually really frustrating in this remake. Um, the synth, the the sort of like edges of your hitbox are weird in this in this game. Well, just I, I don't even have much of a problem with them in the normal game. I've heard people complain about them in the normal parts of the game, but for me, it's just been these hog levels. Oh my god, I missed one. And now when I 
I'm trying to kill myself and I can't. <laughs> okay. We made it to the checkpoint. Oh my god. <laughs> In my head, my brain was like, now watch me do this what first try, this part. And I immediately face plant into the spikes. Ooh. <laughs> Those ones are really tricky. They make it feel like, yes, they make it feel like you've got to go to one side and then they quickly run back. <laughs> I had way too much trouble with that level. <laughs> okay, yeah, so in the next level, in the next uh, episode, I will go back and do the orange and blue gem levels that I can do so far. <laughs> Oh dear. But for now... We'll fight. Fight. Pinstripe Potteroo. <laughs> this Tommy Gun isn't always reliable. Yeah, that's about right. Basically this whole boss's deal is waiting for his Tommy Gun to jab. If I want to be risky... I can, yeah, get him while he's between running, like that. Yeah. Okay. Then he does, goes under there, which I remember always thinking uh, was some sort of like thing that made his. Um, I always, seemed, always thought that that light up there made his Tommy gun have infinite ammo for some reason. <laughs> Just me as a kid. In the world of cheats and stuff. Ah! Damn! Almost first try! <laughs> it's only two parts left. Like that last bit of his health. Ah, what? You normally can get him there. Well, you you normally could in, in the first game. Okay, so yeah, so you can't, you can't like, duke him or um, preemptively strike him. You used to be able to. We'll do this properly now. Yeah, he's like some sort of mob boss guy. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell how close you need to be when you want to when you just need to spin. Ah. So yeah, this is the last part. Basically, that that last part is like the Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pinstripe Patooey! <laughs> Patooey! Alrighty, so that was Pinstripe. <laughs> it wasn't too hard. I think I just kept trying to do silly things. That first time I died was, was a genuine mistake, but um, the next couple of times it was just me being... <laughs> me trying to be sneaky and stupid. Alrighty, so the next episode we'll be starting on the high road. Well, we'll probably do the gem levels, the old gem levels first, and then um, we'll pick up right on the high road, which is... Other than Slippery Climb, the hardest level of the entire game. Like, it's infuriatingly difficult. <laughs> but nevertheless, if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. I do these kind of let's plays, I do uh, development videos. You can also follow me at Rorius45 on Twitter. I always twit, uh, tweet, twit. <laughs> I always tweet whenever I upload a video. Whenever I make, I make YouTube tweet for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and as always,